are back on this YouTube stuff. What is going on? Um, as you guys saw, let me turn down this music real fast. You know what time it is when music blasts and my Come on. Come on. Anyway, like I was saying, what's up guys? We are back. Y'all notice anything different about me? Yeah, sure girl got her hair done. So, but yeah, I'm feeling myself right now. It's been up for about a week. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just wanna let you guys know. Yo, we're back. We're back home in Texas. We're back. And we got two, not just one, but two new additions to our family. We have King, who is the brown chihuahua mix. All brown. And we have Queen, who is the brown and white chihuahua mix. Um, we got Queen yesterday, which was July 12th, which was also Junior's 11th month birthday let's say it like that junior is now 11 months which means next month he'll be one and we got king july 8th they're both two years old one is a boy king is a boy queen is a girl of course queen is fixed so we don't have to worry about any babies from her we have to get king fixed and we have to get king his rabies shot but we'll, we'll get that but yeah so right now y'all hear that yeah, here. So, if you guys hear that, you guys know that that means that mommy's cleaning. Mommy is cleaning right now. So, I'm gonna get back to that. Watch my two little babies, and then we're gonna go for a walk later. So, I'll hit you guys up in a second. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Try to get this to focus. Hold on. There we go. You guys can see me now. All right, so as like I said earlier, we're out on our walk with the little babies and they keep getting tangled up in their collars, not their collars, but their leashes. There you go, let's go. They keep getting tangled up in their leashes, but I mean, other than that, they walk pretty good together. But yeah, so we got back um, on the 8th, no, on the 7th, like we were supposed to. Whoa, you didn't like that, huh? <laughs> but the crazy thing is we were in Virginia, um, our car actually broke down. And the only reason it broke down was because of the battery and the cider. Now the cider, okay. We got another starter. But it turns out that the battery that they had, the dealership gave us in the car, wasn't even the battery that was supposed to be in the car in the first place. So, not only did we have a bad battery, we had the wrong battery. So, we had to buy a whole new battery. And after that, the car was able to start and we were happy we were able to go home. So, that's something we have to talk to the dealership about because the fact that they did that you're not really supposed to do that. Why would you sell somebody a car that doesn't even have the right battery in it? And you guys knew that. Like, I don't know if dealerships can get in trouble with that, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, that just really made us mad because, you know, luckily we were at my old babysitter's house we call her grandma Susan and junior is her great-grandson so luckily you know we were able to you know have we it broke down when we were there so we were able to you know keep there overnight and come back and work on it but it's just like why why would you even put us to that why like what if we broke down the middle of the road you know like that would have been terrible but anyway I got King walking over here and Queen walking over here. And King's leash is around my legs, the back of my legs. 
But anyway, let me tell you about these two. So, as you guys know, um, I did have Zira. Zira was the dog before these two. Um, you guys know we had to give her away. Um, you, and you guys know the reason if you don't go look back a couple vlogs. I think it was the one where we're about to go on vacation. It was not, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was the one take. Um, but yeah, so we had to get rid of her. And because we had to get rid of her, and my husband knew how much it, that broke my heart, um, my husband said, you know what? When we come back, and get another dog. So that's what happened. We got King. And King um, shows signs of abuse. Um, he gets really nervous, really scared. Um, he does this whole the whole nervous pee thing, and um, he'll it's like he'll chill with you for two seconds. Like if you pet him, he'll let you pet him for two seconds, and then next thing you know, he's scared of you. So we're trying to get him you know to open up more and I thought the easiest way for that to happen was to get another dog <laughs> now the deal was one but because my husband just wanted to make me happy he let me get Queen <laughs> um, now Queen we got her off of Craigslist from a family that was trying to get rid of her and um, she was free um, she's already spayed and um she already has rabies shots and everything and they're gonna send us all of her paperwork now in texas you have to get your dog spayed or neutered 30 days after adoption and they have to have their rabies shot if you do not do that at that certain date that they put on the paper you will get a citation so with king we do have to get him neutered um, which is fine. Um, that just means that I'm going to have to baby him extra, extra, extra due to the fact that, you know, he's having surgery. Hold on, let me get past these trees. Come on. Y'all know these trees have spiders in them. But yeah, um, when they first, when, you know, um, they, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There we go. Leash in the freaking wheel. When I first got um, brought King home, you know, he did his usual thing. Um, you know, looking around. He didn't mark in the house. He was very good with that. He did not mark in the house. And he's already potty trained. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, the one thing I have to watch out for is that I can't leave him alone. Um, for long periods of time because then he will sorry someone needs to mark everywhere while we're outside all right come on um but yeah um like I was saying um you know he's house she's not have to worry about that with um queen um, pretty much it was, you know, I gave her a bath and she honestly took to King right away. Like it wasn't even a, hey, I'm bigger than you, you know, type situation. It was a, hey, what's going on? Ooh, let's go play, you know? Um, King is not, even though he's not, you know, fixed, he hasn't tried to do anything to her. He's smelt her you know and you know did what dogs do but he's not trying to like have sex with her or nothing like that because you know she's fixed and once she's fixed that's pretty much it and queen's kind of lagging right now i don't think she gets a lot of walk time because she's tired now and it is hot out here but we're almost home but um yeah king's like outdoing her right now <laughs> But yeah, so these are my two babies, and we did go with the smaller dog because we can travel with these two. It's it's no problem for us to travel with them. And on top of that, when um, I put them in their kennel, they're perfect together. They don't cry, they don't poop and pee in their kennel. 
No, they're, they're absolutely perfect together. They're fine. Jump over it. There you go. So, that's the story how we got them. Um, Junior absolutely loves them. Um, especially when they play. King, come this way, baby. Thank you. Especially when they play. Um, he busts out laughing. And speaking of Junior, Junior now knows how to say hi and bye. And he knows how to clap. <laughs> so, that's, that's something new. Completely new. Um, we do have, we're going to start having him drink whole milk pretty soon. Um, he has started, but we switched back to formula. Because, you know, we are on Wick and Wick is still giving us formula. But when he turns one years old, they're going to give us whole milk and juice. Um, which is going to be a lot better because then there's no more formula. Hello, whole milk, juice, and sippy cups. <laughs> yep. We're going to go into the sippy cup phase. Which I honestly cannot wait. Diapers will be the only thing that we have to worry about. So, honestly, for those who have kids, like... Don't worry about, you know, oh, this is taking forever. I can't wait till they're off diapers, blah, blah, blah. It'll come. You just gotta wait. It does take a while, but it definitely does come. Like, I, I was sitting there like, I can't wait till you're off formulas. We don't have to do this anymore. La, 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 come on. La, 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 And now, what's going on here? What, what? Like, leg, okay. Sorry, got tangled. And now we're almost off it, so here we go. About to be on juice and milk, and I honestly cannot wait. <sighs> Soon we won't even need book anymore. them after that amazing walk tired but I can't lie I am too I'm extremely exhausted do you guys have fun on that walk queen try to keep up king you did amazing I don't think y'all understand. I am very, very tired. And I'm hot. And everybody's about to take naps. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. But yeah, so anyway. I got a whole bunch of editing stuff to do. Do I feel like doing it? No! <laughs> <laughs> 
oh do I have to do it yes but yeah so since I think I have footage before this video I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this short and um we'll see you guys manana let me step in that smash we'll see you tomorrow bye